Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 12. There is complex sections in Selenium in cshop.net. In this particular lecture, you will learn how to perform the complex sections like taking mouse over on the sub particular element, then drag drop, dragging and dropping the elements, then double clicking on the element, opening the context menu using Selenium in cshop.net. So to demonstrate all these operations, I have created one test method over here. And what I'm doing here is going to the uh, Selenium test page and then store this first name and the city drop down in the variables, web element variables. Then to do the mouse over, what you have to do is use this particular syntax move to element. This actions class is required. You have to first of all create the instance of that actions class which is available in this particular namespace. So once you get this reference, you have got this method move to element and pass the element on which you want to do the mouse over and finally you have to do this build and perform action so these methods are really important many people forget to add these methods at the end and uh, keep complaining like how this method is not working this move to element or the action is not working so this build and perform is really important otherwise your code will not work then to do the drag and drop from one element to the another you can use this particular syntax drag and drop method first element is the source element and the second element is the destination element and then build and perform the next is uh, to double click on the element you can use this particular syntax double click and then you have to pass the element on which you want to double click and as i said build and perform is also important then do the context click what you have to do is this method context clicks can be used and this is the element on which you want to do the context click and then finally build and perform then you can also uh, like change multiple actions let us say you want to click and hold on uh, this element then you can do it like that and then if you want to move to certain element after that you can use this particular syntax and then to release the mouse on that element you can use this release so all these actions we have done in the sequence and then finally you need this build and perform because we want to do this particular chain of action as one unit so that is how you can do the chain of actions as well in Selenium in cshop.net so I'm gonna execute this particular code for you what it will do is double click on that first name element and then also finally do the context click that is right click as you can see it is open that context menu so that is how you can uh, perform the complex actions in Selenium in cshop.net that ends our lecture number 12 and in this lecture we have seen how to do these operations mouse over drag drop double click context menu etc in the selenium in thanks for watching this video